morning folks how are we all doing day four a little bit more refreshed today we had a good night last night um they've got a beautiful um pretty beautiful lake just a couple of couple of yards away from the hotel and there's uh restaurants and cafes bars there we had a really good night last night we feel a bit more relaxed today a little bit better first couple of days i've been a killer i mean that first day we did just short of 800 miles never again never again we said that in 2016 when we went to uh, Croatia, but no, um, yeah, it was a bit, a bit bad that one. Anyway, day four. Today we are heading towards a place called Brad, so we're crossing the border into Romania. Where over the next couple of days we're going to be uh, navigating the famous Transalpina and, of course, the Transfer Basin. Looking forward to that. Anyway, have a look at this room. We booked it last night because uh, we were a bit worried. We struggled to get, <laughs> we were struggling to get hotels, so we just saw someone on Booking.com and just booked it. Anyway, I walked in. Just ignore what you see down here for a bit. I walked in and all I saw was that. I thought, oh god. You know, I thought we've asked for a triple room because that's always available. <laughs> so it's a double bed. Anyway, fortunately, when it turned round, there was that there. So, <laughs> I paid for the room last night, so I got the bed. Ray had to sleep on that. Like a little sofa bed type thing, but it was alright. It was alright. You know, the, the room's basic, but, you know, it does the job. Got a padded wall over there, so if um, I've had enough of Ray, I can bang my head against it. <laughs> but no, it's okay, actually. Good little room. Roasting in here though, absolutely roasted. But yeah, um, it's been good up to now. Really enjoying the trip. So the first couple of days were hard, you know. And uh, my advice to anyone is try and break it down a little bit. We tried it a few years ago and it, it was tiring. We did a big day. This time we're a bit older. It hurts. I keep forgetting I'm not in my twenties anymore. I say 800 miles in one day is just too much. Anyway. Enough of me waffling on now. Just waiting for the old kit in there to uh, finish in the shower. I'm virtually ready to go. I'm on a mission this morning. The wife wants a bottle of Palinka. And if I don't get it, I'm in trouble. So well, that's that. The, when the boss tells me she wants something, I have to go and do it. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? Anyway, catch you in a bit, guys. Tata, Paul needs a bottle of Palinka. Yeah. That's why we're walking down the street instead of on the bikes riding. Yeah. And he reckons he can get a bottle of Palinka from Spa. Spa down here. Now, bearing in mind we're expecting red hot heat and it's a nine minute walk there and a nine minute walk back. Look what he's wearing. Thank you. Yeah. Look what I'm wearing. You don't have to do it from that angle, mate. Show me belly. <laughs> <laughs> what am I wearing? Eh? Can't tell, can you? He looks like a German tourist. Yeah, with my white socks and my trainers. You're not really good holding that camera, mate, are you? No, I'm not used to it. Hey. It's not long enough. What are we talking about now? Yeah, this. Yeah. Anyway, this is Hatter. We had our meal last night. Yeah. I tried to get horse meat, but we didn't have any. No. So I tried to have melon instead with some sliced ham. Close approximation. Yeah. Uh, I had carbonara with uh, salmon. Yep. He had bolognese. 
adventurous as ever. He had three beers, and then we moved to another bar and had another beer. Yeah. I have to admit, the waitress in the restaurant looked like a rabbit caught in the headlights when I walked out and found a talking to Paul. <laughs> My Google translator wasn't working properly. He was trying to talk to her. In German? Convert English to German. <laughs> and she's Hungarian. I, I, I guess it's close enough. Uh, it's easy mistake, isn't it? Easy mistake. These things happen. But at least she smiled. Well, actually laughed as it happens when I said... Through there. Google Translator. Can we have another beer in the bill, please? Anyway, that worked. seemed to tickle her sense of humour. Did work in the end, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And after that, we walk into a bar. Yeah. Basically, that the bar was a, a wooden hut. Yeah. <laughs> well, the girl who just looked out the window at us. It was like no caravan, wasn't it? Yeah. I think. I think they were closing. <laughs> and we walked in. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I think that is that when we got our beer, which they gave us, yeah. we were sat at a table drinking it, and they started putting tables and chairs away. Yeah. And we had to drink up fairly quickly and disappear because they started locking the gates and everything. Yeah. Thought we weren't going to be getting out. Didn't fancy getting tapped by two young girls, you know. I didn't. Paul was... <laughs> I didn't yeah, well, it's on video, so I'm not going to really do it, but we actually went in there last night. Yeah. And we went over. I had to go and get some currency. Because Paul paid for the room with his euros last night, so I was going to be paying for the food. We had to walk all the way down here. There's a cash machine over there. Yeah, I'm going to walk on the path over there, Paul. Went yeah, safer. My, no, probably not as well. I've got me, me Hungarian. I paid for the meal, so you paid for the hotel. Yeah, that's the one. I'm going to point that camera a bit more so you can actually gas better. That's better. And now, and now see we're wasting now. And now we're wasting time. Now we're wasting time. To be fair, Paul, Paul's packed everything up. I need to put my biking gear on. Yeah, and I'm, ready, I'm ready to go. He isn't. But we did check. The bikes haven't been stolen or anything like no, that. No. They're still there. So we've still got transport when we get back. It's really weird because it's. it's Fairly blue skies, yeah, it's yeah, raining. Yeah, it's actually quite cool and it's spitting. Yeah. It's not raining, it's spitting. It's it spitting. never got beyond spitting yesterday. Oh, it did. And you called it a bloody thunderstorm. I did not call it a thunderstorm, I said it's raining. When you wait till you see it on camera and you make your own decision. Oh, yeah, it won't be hard. Paul's in there right now, doing his best to buy some palinka. Trying to look as best as he can, like he's over 18. Into the, <coughs> the lake. I, I don't get running. I really no, don't get running. No, I'd rather, rather have an engine. Now we, I think it was this front that we came to last night. Not maybe here, a bit further along. How can he run and talk at the same time? Uh, I can't. I struggle to walk and talk at the same time, mate. Are you doing it now? No, no, no. It's your imagination, mate. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You know I haven't got one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a day off, by the way. We're just no. about to go and. Uh... Uh, this is Paul just wasting time. Yeah. I, don't, I wanted to show you this because it looked lovely last night, didn't it? Yeah. Truck. Yeah. So we came down here last night. Uh, we came from that path and we walked all the way down there, yeah. past, past them boats down there, if you can see them. Um, way past those. Yeah. And this is the lake at Tata. Over there is the. I think it's a kind of a monastery type thing. I've really no idea. I'll have to look it up some point. But the whole point of today was that. <clears throat> yeah. I so that Paul could that. get a bottle of Palinka. If he goes home without that bottle of Palinka, um, he'll be half a man the day after. Not that I'm half a man now. <laughs> <laughs> not, not you're a full man now. <laughs> that was the important thing, wasn't it, the Palinka? Yeah. So we've just walked into town to get that. And over there, I had no idea what that is. It's got nice little minaret thingies on it, but it does look nice. And we saw a fish jump in here last night. We did? Yeah. Didn't catch one. No. Um, but it is really peaceful. Beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah. We walked down there and pitch black last night. Not a soul in sight, was there? No. Nobody. But they do like their parks. Yeah. Because they were quite chilled here last night. Yeah. Well, good morning from day four, guys. Good morning, good morning. How are we doing, Raymond? I'm all right, mate. 
<laughs> it's uh, 10 to 9, is it? Oh no, it's 10 to 10. 10 to 10. Yeah, we're late again. To date, we are off to Romania. Should be a good day, actually. Ah, bit of awkward getting out of here, isn't it? Uh, well, the road's clear just now. Oh, is Except it? for a truck, yeah. Oh, and a car now. I'd have been out ages ago, but if I'd done that, you might, you might not have got out, and I might have been sat beside the road, having my leg taken off by a car. All right. So I waited. As but you I'm do. Going now. Yep. Right, here we go, Romania. We're on our way. <coughs> we are. Day four. I want a glorious day. We've got again, eh, mate? It's lovely. Hey. I got some nice cool air blowing through uh, my jacket. I know, I've opened my vents again this morning. Yeah. After that spitting downpour yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hey. believe he wants to stop and put your waterproofs and everything on. I didn't want to stop and put my waterproofs on, sod off. <laughs> I put the waterproof on my tank bag. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Do you know what, folks? He's been right grumpy this morning. I don't know who's worse. You. <laughs> All right, smart ass. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, day four. We're on the way to Romania. Um, we're heading to a place called Brad tonight, which is going to look brilliant. It looks a nice little hotel. We haven't booked it like, you know, <laughs> we're arriving on spec. We're going to have the same problem tonight that we had the night before last. Yeah. Any room the at the end. Yeah. The day after that, we are heading to um, Transalpina, aren't we? Yeah. And then uh, the day after that, we're doing the uh, Trans for Garrison. So it's uh, all in all, we've got an action-packed couple of days coming up. And we need a vignette. So anyway, at the moment, we're just heading to the garage. We're going to top up with fuel. Not that I need much at the moment, but we also need uh, some vignettes for the uh, for the motorway. That'll do. That's up. Right, I'm ready, mate. Right. Ready when you are. So it's ten past ten and we're off, Paul. We are. That's actually a bit better than yesterday, mate. It's not. Isn't it? No, we've no, gone... We got going at half nine yesterday. No, I thought we were later on that, mate. I've just turned the camera on a second. We've been going for about a mile and a half, something like that, I think, Ray. Look how many bloody trucks there are on this motorway. It's just truck after truck after truck. Okay, we've stopped at the side of the motorway. Because Paul has got a warning come up on his, his car, on his bike, saying he's got no key. But he's just checking now and he's got his key. Hi right, folks, an update, we, uh, we've been on the motorway for whew, a good, good hour and a bit. Roadworks were unbelievable. I had the fear of God put up me. Going halfway along, sat in traffic, and my key warning light came on. Now for those of you who ride BMW RTs, or any BMWs, and you've got this keyless, keyless problem, you'll know that if you walk away from your bike more than a metre or so, it tells you that there's no key. I all of a sudden get this key warning light. <laughs> now, uh, the, I was always told when you buy a BM, a lot of the other riders use landlord, yeah, la lanyards, you know, the things around your neck. Hang your keys in them so you can never lose them. I will do, mate, yeah. 
So anyway, I uh, had this horrible vision that my key had fallen off. It hasn't, it's still round my neck, but you do panic a bit. Anyway, that put the fear of God over me a little bit though. Suddenly thinking, oh my God, I've lost my key. But it is there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could kiss. I could kiss that right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you in a bit, guys. Right, so a bit of a detour because we uh, missed the turning on the motorway. Yeah, both of us missed yeah. it. Neither of us was looking at our sat navs. In fairness, this is the only day we wanted to use motorways because yeah. we, we've been told that some of the A-roads aren't particularly good for bikes. <laughs> Here's a prime example. <laughs> so it's, uh, we've got a, a couple of uh, Hungarian subscribers, haven't we? Yeah. And they said, try it if you can, keep keep clear of the A-road. So we stopped the motorways today. So we've just got to try and find our way back on. It's not far. We've got to turn in in two miles. And then we're on a road then that joins up with the motorway, so yeah. we'll be back on shortly. And I've had a drink of water, so I feel a bit better now. It's turned out to be a nice day, then. Another, yeah, it's lovely. Another scorcher. That was a hell of a traffic jam, though. That was a hell of a traffic jam, mate, yeah. I, I couldn't believe some of the things I was seeing. That, that truck driver, the first thing that he did was pulled out. Everything yeah. has to stop, and I was like, what are you doing? I know. Now, that guy tried to pull in front of me, or pull in yeah. next to me. Yeah. And he just looked at me, and I thought, oh, God, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> you saw your GB sticker. Yeah. So we've got a glorious day today. We've done a, done a good motorway section now. Bit of a nightmare with traffic. Um, as you probably saw earlier, I had a bit of an issue. Um, thought I'd lost my key. <laughs> Ray was really sympathetic with that one, weren't you, weren't you Raymond? What's that? Very sympathetic with me losing my key. Yeah. I said to him, I think I've lost my key, he went, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> or worse, that effect, wasn't it? Something along the lines of, does it really matter? Yeah. Would, uh, Do we have to stop now? Yeah. But Hungary's a lovely place. The roads are a bit bumpy. <laughs> the roads aren't very good. But uh, it's a lovely, lovely country. The adverts are pretty good, though. Oh. oh, KTM. Do you know what? You wouldn't not sure of restaurants, are you, here and cafes? No, you're not. They're absolutely every, everywhere you look, there's a cafe. Yeah, there's always some out. Yeah. Is that your back brake making that noise? Front. Oh, your front one? Yeah. That's not, shouldn't be doing that much. Yeah, you're at the front now, Paul, so let's get something clear. You need to be much more communicative, right? Oh, right, OK. Yeah? I need a two-mile, one-mile and 500-yard markers. You're not getting it. <laughs> 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 You'll get what you're given, pal. <laughs> Which will be a last minute, oh, we're turning right here. Oh, like you did to me on the motorway, you mean, yeah. Get out of it. You did the bloody same. You didn't see it yourself, for Christ's sake. I, I did. To be fair, I wasn't looking, no. You're right. <laughs> I can't, bl can't blame either of us for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually quite funny, that, mate, wasn't it? Yeah. A bit a little bit tight, there. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we've had a fantastic trip so far. It's been a bit tiring, because we've, we've covered a lot of mileage. So, a lot of time on the bike, isn't it, rather than... Huge miles. For the first few days, mate, it's been pretty tough, to be fair, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. But, um... See, these kind of miles that we've been doing, they're the sort of thing we do at home without a thought. Yeah. You just do it... it. And we've done it loads of times before when we've been abroad. We've just done the miles and that's it. It's never been an issue. But for some reason, this one, the, the miles seem to hurt. Yeah, they do, mate, yeah. I think the main problem is, is we've not, a, not done a big tour for a couple of years. Yeah. That's got we to have be had a lot of roadworks on this one, which we haven't normally had in the past. We had a lot of, a lot of diversions, didn't we? Yeah. And that didn't, that, di oh, that didn't help either, to be fair. I just find it hard to believe we keep running into them, you know. Yeah. I mean, look at that this morning. More, <laughs> more bloody roadworks, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. How far to the next turn, Paul? Half a mile, Sir Raymond. Okay. Which direction? Turning right. 
Okay. I would have, I would have told you. Yeah, as it was, I know. As it was turning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're on our way to Romania today, so uh, we're, we're we're stopping off at a little town. We've got a little surprise for you. We've got a, a, a little addition to the um, itinerary, haven't we, Raymond? Yeah. Keep you in suspense. A bit of a surprise. But uh, and to be fair, if we find it, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have just given the game away there. <laughs> well, you're not doing a video for how long? No. Uh, a lot of tractors over there, mate. Pardon? A lot of tractors turning right here. Yeah. Can't believe how flat it is, though. It is really flat, isn't it? Places. It is. There's, there's, there's not, no, really no raised ground anywhere, whichever direction you're looking, is there? No, mate, no. It's just flat. I tell you what, it's nice the way they put these on roundabouts and things, isn't it? It's, it's amazing that. Hi, folks. How are we all doing? We have come not far now from we're about sixty miles from the Romanian border. Uh, we're still in Hungary currently. And the weather is glorious, absolutely beautiful. So stop to this little town. And a uh, restaurant and uh, hotel thing here. There's the bike, so there's Ray. Oh. Uh, and it's a fantastic place. Middle of nowhere. Just just appeared out of nowhere, literally just appeared out of nowhere. She was some sort of hotel. Yeah, there it is hotel. Fantastic. So, we are tonight staying in a place called Bradian, Romania, and then tomorrow and the next day we are doing the Trangolpina and the trans Garrison Highway. So it's looking good, we're a bit, bit more away now, we're not suffering as much as we did early in the week, or early in the trip should I say. But there's the bikes, bikes are doing really well. There's Raimondo there. Fantastic place. You alright, Paul? You alright, Raymond? Yeah. You had your video over there, have you? Ow. Well, I didn't want to come over here, you were talking. Yeah, sorry. Right. Um, yeah. I'm talking now, can you go away as well? <laughs> I do have to put up with this all the way through the old He's getting grumpy as he gets older, you know. So we just had a lovely meal in there, haven't we? Yeah, we did. To be fair, for a tenner, I know. we had two bottles of Coke. I think I've just given her an eight quid tip. I think you probably have. Yeah, no yeah, wonder she, she smiled at me. paid more for the tip than yeah. you did for the food. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was, it was only a tenner yep. for two courses each yep. and two bottles of Coke yep. each. Not bad at all, mate, was it? No, it's all right. Can't argue with that at all. No, it's okay. Watch your back. Yeah, so we had uh, soup and was it pork? Pork beef, I think it was, wasn't it? Pork, yeah. pork, 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 wasn't it? Pork rice. Yeah. Very really nice. Beef and rice, you described it as, but. Yeah. That was alright, wasn't it? Bear in mind. I didn't understand a word when we walked in, just asked for a table. No. Have a table for two, please. Well, I mean, she was obviously terrified of you, thought you were some sort of criminal, you know, on the loose. It was exactly the same situation that happened to me last night. The difference is I could sit back and only watch with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> out of that situation. I managed to do the right conversion from English to Hungarian. Not from English to say. German. Yeah. Yeah. She looked like a, a, a rabbit caught in the headlamps when she was talking to you. Yeah, fair play. Like I said, she'd been cornered by a perv and ga gathered away so she couldn't run away. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head off now a little bit further on to the Romanian oh, border. We're we going to give someone a mention on camera, are we? Oh, just the missus. Oh! She asked me if the chicken was roadkill. <laughs> Don't be saying that, mate. <laughs> it wasn't that, it was really quite nice. It was chicken soup with proper, chicken soup, yeah, proper, proper chicken. pieces of chicken. Yeah, They're lovely. like cubes, like that big. Yeah. Like at home, you get them, it's, it's kind of like little strings of chicken, yeah. isn't it? Ooh. Anyway, catch you in a bit, guys. 
Yeah, so our next stop is the uh, Romanian border where we have to do passport control. Yeah. Uh, then once we're through passport control, there's a town the other side about... Another, well, it's the first time we come to the other side, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. If you want the truth, I can't remember what I picked. I've got the address here anyway. Oh, I know. And, and coordinates. I'll recognise it when I see it. Oh, Christ. That wasn't good. What's that ridge in the road, Paul? Oh, Christ. Yeah, thanks for reminding me just as I'm going over it. That is a bit of a ridge, isn't it? Where all the trucks have been. Yeah, that's right. Remember them from last time. Yeah, it was a nice place, that, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Was it really nice? Yeah. You gonna go? Right, folks, shall we see how long it takes him to realise he's still got his indicator flashing? Oh, look, he's turned it off, he's heard me. <laughs> what do you say, Paul? Good, good old... Good old Raymond. Anyway, next stop, Romanian border. So folks, hope you're enjoying this trip so far. We are. <laughs> it's been a good nutter now, right, hasn't it? Yeah. Bit tiring in places, but overall it's been all right. We've been arriving later than we used to, but we've been leaving later than yeah. we used to as well. But we're getting we to the... Sorry, you're going to say, mate? Yeah, we're getting to the places that we chose, so. Yeah. We don't like arriving late, and that's the. Something's yeah. happened, and there seems to be a trend on this tour at the moment. That we're late all the time. Yeah. I mean, we were late getting away this morning. All right, that I wanted to go and get the plink of a Vic, you know. But uh, that was a must, really. Yeah. And then aim to get the brandy in uh, Romania. Yeah. One of the uh, conditions, guys, that, that my lovely wife allows me to come on these holidays is I bring back the traditional, or their, their cultural drink of whichever country you go to. So, um, last time we were in uh, Hungary in 2014, uh, I bought a bottle of uh, Palinka back. Um, the wife, my wife, I absolutely enjoyed it. I think you got a taste of it, Ray, didn't you, actually? I did, yeah. Yeah, it was... Blooming gorgeous it was. I, I mean, I was entitled to a drink as well, you know. <laughs> no, it was absolutely beautiful. So this time, um, my wife wanted another one, so... Uh, we uh, had the had the option of trying to uh, find one. Anyway, Ray spotted this shop this morning called Licker and Backer, wasn't it? Yeah. Which, in our country, probably might not be accepted the way it was written. <laughs> 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 Licker and Bacca, it just doesn't sound right. Um, however, it's a fantastic lady. She was dead friendly in the shop. I showed her the picture of what I wanted. And do you know what? She got me the exact one, didn't she? Yeah. I said, for my wife. And she went, good boy. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. So, I've got the, uh, I've got the palinka. Just need to get it back home in one piece now. Oh, this is nice. Beautiful, that nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Lovely little place. Yeah. Don't know where we are. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little town, isn't it? Yeah. They always surprise you, these old towns, don't they? Yeah, they do. You always get surprised whenever you go anywhere, just what's there. Because these are lovely towns. It is. I did like Tata last night. I loved the way the lake was. Yeah, it was nice, that wasn't it? I love that they hadn't built houses right up to it and concreted it all over. Yeah. Yeah, so for recommendations, if you're going to Hungary, Tassa was a nice place, wasn't it? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah.
Right folks, we're just coming up to the Romanian border, so I'm just going to knock the camera off for a minute, okay? Well, we're in Romania. That was a bit, uh, bit nerve-wracking, that wasn't it? A little bit. Yeah. They took the passports of the vehicle documents office. I thought, oh, here we go. Do we need the uh, vignette? Vignette. No, we're not using the motorways. No. Um, our motorcycles are exempt anyway. Okay. Yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking. Slightly less friendly than what we've got used to, isn't it? Really. Yeah, yeah. They were a bit, um, very nice and friendly, mate, weren't they? But it was a bit nerve-wracking, that, because you don't expect... Yeah. The problem is, you don't know what they're saying to you. Yeah. But they are officials, aren't they? Yeah. Thing is, mate, they can refuse your entry, you see, so... Oh, of course. You be nice like you were. Yeah. Can I go now, sir? Am I all right now, sir? <laughs> can we ride on now, sir? <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Have you finished? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's at the end of the day, it's a customs officer. You do as you're told. Ah. Oh. That's nice. Well, folks, we're now in Romania. We've made it. That has been one hell of a hard slog the past couple of days to get here. But we're now here. We've done it. And this is what amazes me. Every every time you hit a border of a new country, it's amazing how the country actually actually changes, you know. Uh, I did put my passport back, yes I did. Everything seems to it seems to know how to change on the borders. Looks very, very different to um Hungry, don't he? Yeah, it is. Right, where are we turning, did you say? Um, turning left. Okay, where those trucks are going then, basically. Yeah. It's a busier town than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's a nice place, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting... You've suddenly come from out of the outback into civilization, haven't you? Yeah. I think that's the cafe over there that I'd picked. What, this what red one here? Yeah. Old times. 
Well, folks, we're in Romania. A bit oh. confusing, that though, wasn't it? It was a bit. This is our first stop in Romania, isn't it? Yeah. Looking all right, mate. Nice and warm. Hey, can't go wrong, can we? Well, there's Paul over there. He's trying to work out how long it's going to be before we get to our hotel. Now, the reason for that, we've just discovered that Romania is one hour ahead of Hungary. So we've got an hour less than what we thought we were going to have, and it is now quarter to six, according to them. Now, I'm across the road, I've just got some money out of an ATM, and I found it using Google, find me the nearest ATM, and I just walked around and got me money, it's directly across the road from the bar, as it happens, and I'm going to wander back and see what he's found out. Well folks, let's give you a bit of an update. We stopped for a, a nice cold drink and uh, we suddenly discovered that Romania is in a different time zone. So we've literally, by crossing the border, have lost an hour. So currently we're not due to get to the hotel till 20 to 9. So we're, uh, we were, and I feel a bit awful not being able to show you this now, we were planning on going to a go to a place called Clit. That was the plan, to have our pictures taken to say that we'd found found Clit with, with the sat-nav, or Captain Satnav's actually managed to find Clit. But My accurate words were going to be, if they'd had a sat-nav in the, in the 70s, I'd have found it a darn sight quicker. Maybe by a few wrong turns. <laughs> so, we are sorry we can't actually show you that. However, with the power of Google and the power of technology, I'm going to put a picture up of Clit anyway. <laughs> you be careful, Paul. Yeah, I better be careful. I would type that into the computer. No? Yeah. But it, here's what it would have looked like. In the yeah. <laughs> in the words of Jim Bowen, here's what you could have won. <laughs> so we're in a bit of a dilemma at the moment. We're not panicking, but we've got to get a push on. So show you some roads instead, and they do look nice roads actually. He's had a few, hasn't Nice little village this, Roy.
Hello? You alright, Ray? Ray? You have to go past. Go on, you go past. What's up? Ray? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Right, can you hear me? You all right, Paul? 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 Ray? Paul? Are you connected? Are you connected? You there, right? Ah, there you are. And there was an almighty buzzing noise in my ear. Yeah. Like a beep type noise. Yeah. Where that just by that petrol station. Yeah. And everything just went dead. Oh right. And then come around the other corner, there's those two coppers there. Yeah. Wonder they Fortunately I wasn't going very fast. But they'd have pulled us up and there'd have been a speed thing, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would have done because I pointed at myself as I saw them and he didn't say anything. Yeah, he just looked at me and uh I just went past. Yeah. Unless he stands out in the middle of the road, I'm not stopping. No. Well, I must have if gone through. Hey? If he waved me down, I'll stop. Yeah. It was just like this big, massive beep, and I don't know if it was like a speed trap or something, or... No, I don't think you have. Oh, I never saw anything. No. You've done 51 miles. Yeah. Out of the 80. Yeah, and we made up, what, five, ten minutes? Yeah, we're going to get there before half past eight at this rate. I'm loving these roads, though. Yeah. We're going to get there before half past eight at this rate. Blue red lights. No. Yeah, because if something comes the other way. I don't think these are working. Oh, they're 
state are these bloody roads? The whole of Romania is not like this, boys. No. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Your, your bottle's just come out. I don't know, some plastic bottles just falling off your bike. No. Oh, Jesus, how thick his blinkers are, eyes. Oh. oh, this is ridiculous, mate. Look at this. Look at that, side of the road's gone. There's gravel everywhere. The bike will take a little... Oh, God. Well, it's f***ing making up that now, then, aren't it? Is it? Wonderful. No, they've been on red for a while, haven't they? That's f***ing up that, I think, mate. Arrival time, quarter to nine. Bit of an update folks, we're um, running into a bit of problems here. We've still got 20 miles to the hotel, we should have arrived at half eight. Uh, at this rate it looks like we're going to be arriving at probably nine o'clock-ish because there's the roadworks are in the right state, the roads are terrible, uh, and now we've got a section of gravel. And we keep coming across these uh, traffic lights. Oh. Every time we come across them, they're not red. <laughs> right, second gear. Keep the power going. Yeah, there's tarmac over there. Oh, okay. Keep it low revs. Oh. These roads. Jesus. These are awful roads. Oh, for uh, God's sake. Look at the stage of that road out, mate. Could you, yeah. Oh, God, this is awful, isn't it? I knew we should have bought a GS. <laughs> I know we've got the engine of a GS, but I'm not actually riding a GS. Shit! Oh! Shit! Right folks, we've uh, made it to Brad. Just gotta find the hotel now. We should have arrived ages ago. <laughs> it's now ten to nine. Well, quarter to nine it is. Night. We should have been here hours ago, but never mind. Yeah, we're, we're about a mile away from the. We think we're about a mile away from the hotel. 
Um, yeah. We're both exhausted. We've had the last two hours of hell. Haven't we, Ray? Uh, it's been awful. Roadworks after roadwork with gravel traps. Ray nearly dropped his bike. He went into um, two in, two, uh, probably six to eight inches of uh, gravel. Is this it here? It's restaurant Maria don't know it looks like it doesn't it might not be no it's not no no it's not no yeah oh so we just a bit further on the road Yeah, go on. I hope the kitchen's still open. <laughs> right, where is this? Ah, this is it. There we go, right, this is it. This is it, isn't it? Yeah. Find out what time they're serving food too, mate. So we're a bit late arriving. I wasn't expecting all that bloody road works, mate. Are you? Yeah, it's fine, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Right, folks, we made it. That was the, one of the toughest rides I think we've ever had to do. That was actually worse uh, than the first night. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen roads like it. But it looks a nice place. <laughs>